What is up y'all's Cheeseburger TWR is back with another food review or three rounds 182, 183, and 184 fight. Welcome back. Happy Cheeseburger TWR Monday. Uh, I saw something online about a certain somebody's breakfast, so that's what we're doing today. Yes, the immortal Caitlin Clark breakfast uh, is what I'm doing today. I will announce that what it actually is here in a minute. Uh, last night, a really tough game against the Liberty. Three points, five assists, two rebounds in 29 minutes. Shot one of 10, one from seven from three. Like, oof. Just like, I mean, the buzz is going to wear off really quick if she keeps playing like this. On a two and nine team, three turnovers yesterday, averaging six turnovers a game. Trying not to dog on her too much, but she does look like the guy with from Beer, Beard Meets Food. Maybe. So, uh, just going to take a look at the customization here. First of all, cheeseburger TWR. We are at 340. After the commentary today, it might be going down and down, down. But yes, yeah, so also 22cc. What does that mean? Oh, just a little something. Maybe uh, just a tad and a bit from Iowa. We're going to slit your... Um, Gonna push my face in and feel the swoon. We will leave it at that, but yes, I read an article the other day. I uh, got some Starbucks as well. Read an article the other day that stated that the Caitlin Clark breakfast, or when she was in college, she would get a bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich from McDonald's and a an ice macchiato with vanilla sweet cream cold foam. So that's what we did. I wasn't sure which bacon sandwich she got, but the sideways one probably. Bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit from McDonald's. The bacon, egg, and cheese bagel from McDonald's. And then, yes, we did get the iced caramel macchiato with vanilla sweet cream cold foam. Just got a small one because this is going to be sugary AF. I mean, just look at the top of that thing. So, um... Yes, and again, the Grandma McFlurry, not sure what that's all about. Um, oh, they got uh, like Paul Malls and Robitussin. I don't know. Vicks Vapo Rub, huh? Love you, Graham. But yes, we're just going to go ahead and get after it. Two chomps to you, all on Z. We will go for the bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit first. Actually, it looks quite good. This is my first breakfast review, I think. So we'll go ahead and unbiscuit this, unbun it. Uh, Nothing on the top. I think I thought they normally butter the biscuits. I think it's just on the top, and it's got a really nice golden top. That folded egg, oof. Um, then we've got, oof, that folded egg. And then, yes, we've got the bacon. They normally just take one piece of bacon, split it in half, and then put it there. And then we've got the cheese. Again, just going to get after it. Caitlin, great choice. My thing, like, I used to get these when I was younger, and my dad used to get peeved with me because... The biscuit was always kind of tough and, um, or like it was chewy and dense and like it needed like oodles of ketchup and it just like stuck to the roof of my mouth really dry. I didn't care for it. And like, if I didn't like finish everything, it was frowned upon. So, uh, probably not keeping you five minutes alone nah, today. So two chomps to you. Alonzi, happy cheeseburger, TWR Tuesday, breakfast and coffee. Cheers. I think eight year old me was on to something. Oh, it's very good. That folded egg is just not doing it. They make three different kinds of eggs at McDonald's the cracked egg, which is actually a real egg that they crack. Uh, in like a round mold. The folded egg, which I think comes in frozen, and the scrambled eggs, I think they actually, that might be a cracked egg too, and they just mash it up or whatever. Um, this is a really good effort. Like you said, that bun or the biscuit is really uh, dry, but it's, it's got a really nice buttery flavor to it. Their cheese always seems extra salty, and their bacon, their bacon's not the greatest, but uh, I thoroughly enjoy that sandwich. Like I said, I'm just going to have a little piece of the egg by itself here. 
So, good old folder leg. So, eat a few of those in your lifetime, huh? But we will go on to the bacon, egg, and cheese bagel. Again, I will score these at the end. And yes, we'll go ahead and take a look. The bagel seems nice and soft. Their bagels are always like very like grocery store kind of bagel, obviously. So maybe we'll get a thumb. But yes, we'll unbun it from the top here. Again, we've got cheese and then we've got our strip of bacon ripped in two. And then we've got more cheese on the bottom. And then they've got their hollandaise or it's like more of a... I think they, they try to call it hollandaise, but... I don't mind it. It's got like a little, it's got like a little garlic powder kick to it. So uh, it's nice. Going to go ahead and get after this one here too. Uh, two chomps to you. All on Z. Happy cheeseburger TWR Tuesday. The Caitlin Clark breakfast, baby. Again, good flavor. You get that bacon, bacon, and cheese. I like that little holiday sauce they've got going there. Um, this bagel, I don't know how long they keep the bagels for, but it tastes like it could be like day old, maybe. I don't know, but yeah. Good solid effort. Like I said, I could eat two of those again, trying to lose weight over here. But yeah, solid effort, and they butter the top of the bagel, it looks like, too. But again, same bacon, same cheese, same ugh, egg patty, but we're going to go ahead and get after the iced caramel, caramel macchiato at this point. And like, I don't even know if this is going to come through the top. Uh, that's what she said, but here we go. Two chops to you, two drinks to you. Alonzi, happy cheeseburger, TWR, Monday. Wow. It's really sweet. You get that coffee taste, like a really rich, flavorful coffee. You get like a lot of caramel, and then that foam is like right on your lips immediately. That's what she said. And uh, yeah, even like you can see at the bottom there, like there's a lot of, I think that's where the foam is. Maybe I should try to zhuzh it a little bit. We'll try to mix it around here. Maybe I should have done that beforehand. Can you tell I don't drink coffee too much, but yes. That's really good. I think, you know, Caitlin kind of nailed it on that one. Good stuff. Really sugary. Like, not something I my old ass should be drinking, but really good. So, we'll go ahead and score these here. <clears throat> the bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit, we will go ahead and give it a... We'll give it a top 10, so 4 out of 5. Uh, I guess just because we will say that the bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit is better than the bacon, egg, and cheese bagel, we will give the bagel a top 15, a 3 out of 5. Again, same ingredients, just different kind of bread, bun patterns. Again, the, the bagel, it always feels like it's kind of been sitting for a bit. Like, they toast it. Um, yeah, just meh. It's decent. I'm going to finish it, and I'm going to enjoy it. This... From Starbucks, I'm going to go ahead and give it a top five, a five out of five banger. Uh, it's really sweet. It's really good. Um, people, A lot of people think that Starbucks is overrated like Caitlin Clark, but um, I mean, what can you say? You know, it just, I feel like it's really good coffee. You pay a lot for it, but you do get the good quality out of it. So um, hopefully enjoy, you enjoyed me eating Caitlin Clark's breakfast. Not so sure that sounded correct, but, or right, or anything. Uh, but <laughs> if you did like this comment, like, comment, subscribe. Oh, don't do that anymore. Still over 100. But yes, give me all of the commentary. If you are mad about me taking shots at Caitlin Clark, what have you, uh, bring it to. Um, she's a public figure making seven figs a year. Uh, your boy makes five. So just like a lot of us. I'm going to stop yammering on. Uh, glad to see y'alls this morning, but this is where I leave you, my shtickheads. Thank you and take care. Be memorable or be forgotten. Love y'alls. Take care. Bye-bye.
Bye. Take a 35 foot long three point shot.